Good evening, guys. It's me, Alex, your sassy instructor. And I guess what? Today is Tuesday. We are still going to have live just because due to my traveling, I was not able to do it yesterday since, as many of you know, who follows me, that I've been visiting the New York City. It was very nice weekend, very relaxing, seen a lot of things, uh, miss that uh, atmosphere, so many people, nice fall. So I am back. And of course, I do miss you guys. Why I am doing extra lives and I'm going to do it today, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it Friday. Because as many of you know, we are finishing our October class. 40 students in October class. And they did not have class on Sunday because they had a little break like me. They have lots and lots of homework to catch up. Also, we are starting our November class on this Saturday. And yes, I always tell that I am not going to sign up no more people, but people were begging me, so we are going full. The biggest class ever, 55 students. I am a little bit stressed out just because I still have to give the personal attention. But don't worry, guys, I have it under control. So what are we going to be talking about today? Let's say hi to a few people. Hello. Hello. We have our members. We have our members who support our mission, right? Thank you. And as a reminder, it's only $3.99 a month to support our mission. And our mission is to change talking for better uh thank you for taking the time you're welcome hello i'm new but i plan on sticking around for a while thanks for all your knowledge thank you so much so i'm gonna see because it takes a lot of sometimes few five minutes six minutes some people still driving from work it's hard it's hard to get that perfect time right to please everybody but you guys can still watch my life uh, busy, busy fall, right? We're talking about spot market. Holidays are coming. Shortage of the drivers. Shortage of the equipment. This is the biggest uh, problems right now. While fuel also went up. So we are seeing spot market prices are higher, but fuel went up a lot. So as the owner of this business, you need to know your operational cost. People asking me, Alex, can you predict what's going to happen? Well, let's be honest. The country has a big inflation going on. Nobody wants to talk about it because of, they want to make sure that people are happy for holidays. But inflation rates are go to 32 38%, which is not good for no business. But as a trucking, we are still going to be moving because America cannot survive without us. We're going to be talking today about actually two biggest brokerages in USA. I wanted to do the CH Robinson, but it would be just too much. Just concentrate on CH Robinson. So I actually, the last minute, I just added GB Hunt as well. So we're going to see how can you book the loads with their apps, right? What do they promise you? How easy it is? What is the interface? And I can tell you what I like, what I dislike. Again, as a professional dispatcher, you always have to plan B, C, and D, right? So uh, I think that that was not really performing well again. So if you do not have a second backup um, app, you can always go to the broker's load boards. For people who did not watch them, we already covered what? TQL, we covered Coyote, and we covered XPO. Of course, guys, I'm not going to go like in the details. I'm just showing you the interface, how it works, what's good, what is not. When you're going to be working, you can explore. For the new dispatchers, reminder, as an independent dispatcher, you cannot have any of those apps. You can have access with carrier permission because you are working under carrier permission. You are using their active MC, their insurance, their BOC3 form. You are using their information to book loads for that because you are dispatcher, right? So 
let's keep going let's say hi to a few more people uh hey awesome to catch up the best youtube course ever thank you well we are trying to make sure that you guys still get the knowledge even with our uh, videos i put a lot of knowledge I actually have been really disappointed because i was supposed to have a podcast actually live show with one of the biggest group minority for dispatchers brokers and carriers minority group for women i was added there i was told that i was the highest contributor and because of my honesty and when i know that some people are charging money for classes but they do not give knowledge i do tell that i do not hide because you gonna learn me guys i am direct but i'm very fair person so actually yesterday when i was flying from new york they removed me from the group they cancel my life and when i ask what was the reason because i did not break any rules right i did not uh offend anyone so i am just a big competition and i can tell you this doesn't matter if you block me from the group doesn't matter if you cancel my life i am still on the same mission to change trucking and i can tell everybody that i do not care about the race i do not care about nationality i do not care where you come from because all of us can do this trucking welcomes anybody i don't care if you're a guy or if you're a woman and again just because i might be a different race on nationality doesn't mean that you have to block me and because i call scammers out loud and i'm not afraid of it while well, actually you guys just um you just proved to me that all your promises is just excuse me but bs because you know what the lady who runs it every day she goes on live and she tells everybody we're empowering women we helping them doesn't matter where you come from and today you actually proved to me no you are afraid of good competition so if somebody's teaching better you simply blocking them you simply canceling the live when before you said oh we are so supportive of your mission so guys stop lying or you really give the knowledge and you really have the mission or just keep it to just charge the money and i'm okay with that because we have so many people right now teaching dispatch classes and they have no clue what they're teaching and actually one of their instructor when somebody asked well the load was sixty two thousand on the weight can i take it instead of explaining that it's a nonsense that you need to know the legal weight eighty thousand minus empty scale ticket you know what was the advice oh usually you should not book such a heavy loads well usually you cannot even fit them because we have eighty thousand minus empty scale when somebody was asking how much should i charge for dispatch and the answer was 15 percent don't sell yourself short 15 percent excuse me the carrier who opened the company who is now hiring you as dispatcher he used to pay less working under somebody else so this is nonsense sorry guys that i got a little bit little bit upset but you know what that's what twenty thousand people women in minority group and logistics are afraid of they're afraid of me telling honestly that most of those classes are scams and i am not here to advertise myself i don't need to advertise my classes god fill out so fast and i know what i give because i give 100 percent and i will make sure that you guys know what you're doing but let's go and let's learning and that's why my even my videos have more value if you watch my videos if you cannot afford my classes if you watch all my videos you're already gonna know more than some of those classes combined are giving to you and i know that for the fact i know that for the fact and i don't care as one more time i don't care where you come from come to me 
and I will tell you what you can do and what you cannot do. I can tell you if that's possible for you to be dispatcher. Remember, not everybody can be dispatcher. I will tell you if you're going to succeed as a trucking owner, company owner, because you need to know the basic. You need to calculate. You need to know your numbers. If you decide to open company, you'd better get ready for that. Don't come and pay somebody, those scammers who is going to open company for you, and then you're going to go broke because you did not even have enough money to survive the first month. Don't do it. Just Google that. Just Google and learn. Right now, information is there. And if not, keep watching people who are really honest. And believe me, it's not that much competition in trucking right now on YouTube. It's a lot of talk. It's a lot of storytelling. But if you really listen and you really compare to reality, you will understand who is real and who is just promising stuff which is not true okay to go and finish class doesn't mean doesn't mean that tomorrow you're gonna have 10 carriers it is a hard work and it's a business you have to train yourself to have this as a business but for this you need to have knowledge so here again we are back to this knowledge is the key without knowledge you cannot teach without inspiration you cannot have the mission blocking people is easy Try to give free classes, right? Try to push person. Try to have 500 students a year, half of them already working. So then we can talk and I can go on any podcast, guys. I can invite you anytime. Anyway, let's go. So glad that I uh, uh, found you instead of them. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, guys. And I hope... Your class is a real deal. Thank you, guys. I've learned a lot. I really appreciate all your knowledge. Oh, yeah. You know what? You should go on Truck and Hansel YouTube channel. I tried. Guys, I tried. I do not fit their profile. Because you know what? Again, we go back to what? they. Everybody wants to be equal. Everybody says we all the same. I did not fit their profile. I'll have the answer from them. I ask them a million times that you guys uh, bring other people. And the answer was, sorry, but you do not fit, uh, fit our profile. And what is a profile? What is a profile? We all humans, we want to succeed. And again, I do not care what race, what color, nationality, where did you grow up for? We all can be part of big industry. So again, here you go, truck and hassle. I don't fit your profile. Well, good for you. Hopefully, I can print profile for all of my students. And sorry, guys, that I got a little bit upset today because I take things like deeply because I do care. I do care. I just simply care. And this is not fair. But it's okay. Look at this. As of today, we are 5,000. I know that it's going to grow and grow and grow. And one person at a time, we're going to change this industry together. Bolenbrook Illinois in the house. Hi, Sassy. Hi, how are you? You're awesome. Expose them because the new people do not have money to waste. Yes, exactly. I, I'm going to go through the list. And next Monday, I have few few students who came back to me after all those classes. And they also had enough. So we're going to be exposing actually scammers. And I have nothing to hide. So I don't care if they're going to take it personally because people don't deserve to go pay for three classes, finally come to me and still have no clue what is a dispatcher, still have no clue what is a tonal after three classes. And it's not their fault. It's not people's fault. It's because they scam them and they just take the money. They promise them trucking in a box. They promise them pre-recorded sessions. They promise them PDFs, which they steal from each other without explanation. They don't even dispatch every day. That's a problem with this industry. Okay? So please, guys, share, invite your friends. But we, guys, gonna go. Facts wasted so much money from others. Yes. Everything happens for a reason. And the truth needs to be known. Yes, Thank you. That's why we are here. 
Sassy, you're the most <laughs> competent dispatcher. You're the best in industry. Pre-recorded videos and packets, exactly. And when you try to reach them, they never answer. Actually, I'm so surprised because when people call me, and sometimes I'm busy and I call back, and they're like, oh, my God, you answer the phone. I'm like, yes, I answer the phone. I will answer to your text. I will make sure that something happening and you cannot take class that you can retake. I will be checking on your progress because that's why you sign up for my class to succeed. You did not sign up just to pay me 800 bucks. You sign up to become a pro. That's why I'm always going to be available with after mentorship and everything else because I want to make sure that you are on the same page. Okay, so guys, we are, we are going to change this industry with your help, with all my students. Look at this, 50, 40 people a month. We're talking about next year, we adding another five, 600 people of smart dispatchers, people who understand that carrier has to make money because in the end of the day, it's not about how much you're going to pay me for dispatch. It's how much me as a dispatcher, I'm going to make you profitable. How many people are you going to refer me to because you finally making money with me? How many people are finally going to understand the difference between dispatcher who cares and knows the numbers and dispatcher who just gets rid of the truck? This is a big difference. And I am doing it every day. My students are doing it every day. And you guys can do this as well. And we can get rid of that, of that bad, bad repetition of the dispatchers. But today, let's keep going. So let's see what is C.H. Robinson promises us. I do love their, um, their promo. So let's watch it for a second. You compete in the market every day. Whether you are the most successful, legendary brand or smaller emerging company, you anticipate and adapt to stay competitive. So when orders come in at any time of day, from every direction, your supply chain needs the flexibility to respond fast. Together, we can integrate all of your complex business decisions, planning, purchasing, transportation, and delivery to truly accelerate your advantage. It's about more than making the sale. It's about exceeding your customers' expectations and growing your business. Accelerate Your Advantage is our promise to you that our expertise is focused on improving your supply chain. Working with our supply chain experts, proven processes, and single global technology platform gives you the edge that matters to your customers. Advance your goals, outpace competitors, and achieve a faster, more efficient supply chain. Accelerate Your Advantage. So, why was the reason I really show you? Because, guys, sometimes you're reaching out to me and you say, Alex, how should I represent myself? Should I make the Facebook uh, account? Should I make the flyer? Guys, look at successful companies. Did you see the wording they choose? We are changing the supply. Well, now let's think. You are a dispatcher. You're reaching out to carrier. Well, don't you think when you, you don't have to copy but you have to get personal. What are you offering? What are you offering this carrier? Well, you're going to make sure that he's loading and unloading, that process of his freight movements is going to be easier. Why? Because you can bring him your knowledge and you can tell, well, I am not just using that or truck stop, right? I am also going to make sure that we sign up with all the major load boards. And when they're going to ask you why, you're going to tell them, well, because we have days when it's easier to get the load. We know all the details and we can actually get more money because sometimes brokers do not answer. Or when you guys going to have days when that is not working, a truck stop. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to start representing yourself like those big companies because you guys are powerful. Yes, you just a dispatcher right now but you're going to be a pro dispatcher. You're going to reach out them with knowledge and you're not going to keep them uh, uh, fake promises. Oh, we're going to offer you 15,000 a week with what? With running uh, illegal logbook? No, you're going to tell them, well, I know for fact 
that my dispatch is going to be above national average. I know for a fact that I organize my time and I always have plan A, B, and C. So start write it down and you're going to ask, let's talk about it. How many loads do you take with Jibihan? C.H. Robinson, TQL. Let's see what commodities are you working? Are you set up? Did you ever got uh, access to their load boards? Here again, you're selling point. When you asking those new carriers, you have to give them extra than nobody else does. And that's an extra. That's why I am covering every load board this week so you guys can uh, add this to your services. So when you advertise, you don't just say, oh, I just have that, right? So let's see. If we're going to go, if we're going to go back and you guys knew, you have to understand that actually C.H. Robinson, they have two different divisions. C.H. Robinson has a Robinson Fresh. I love them because I am a reefer company, right? They have lots of produce from California, Washington. So uh, Robinson Fresh they are actually also C.H. Robinson because C.H. Robinson divide their two divisions. So they only deal with fresh produce. So if you are a reefer company, you have to find one of those brokers and you'd better stick to them. Again, you're going to start working on a debt. You're going to start booking loads on app. The moment you book good loads, you're going to see who is a representative. You're going to reach out and you're going to make conversation, especially if it was a good transit, if it's a good pay, if it was something which works for you, you want to introduce yourself. So me personally, I work with the apps, but also in every big company, I have one or two reps who I can always reach out. And I am giving them load number from that or even load number from their app. Because when they trust you, they going to go extra mile for you, right? So write it down. Not only you're going to sign up from load board and you're going to start booking loads, but you're going to read your rate confirmation and you're going to see who exactly broker. And after you did a good job, actually you're going to start doing it the moment you're going to sign up because you're going to give them update. Well, we are on the schedule. It's always email there. You can email and say, well, it's Alex from, let's say, Alex Transportation. We book a CH Robinson load from app. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we are on time. Here is the driver information, although you're going to pick it on the app because you want to make that connection, right? It's all about connection. So let's see. So this is C.H. Robinson. If you go back, if you did not sign up with them yet, you can go right here, right? Carriers. And what you can do, so, somehow my, um, my screen is changing. Hold on. C.H. Robinson. Carriers. And accelerate your butt. You can sign up with, with them, right? Uh, our company here carriers uh, book your next load today so now we are going to the app so i am already signed up this is the app for whom this is the app for ch robinson for the carrier who i am working for so what can we do we can have options like any load board right so you can find the load, you can post trucks, right? You can post truck, trucks. If you have more than five, six, you can even upload spreadsheets if you're working for big company. You're going to see my loads. If you have any loads, right, you can search. You're going to have your rate confirmation right here. So let's go back. Find the load. It's very easy. Like any load board, what are you going to do? Well where are you looking for the load so let's start switching some cities because i always choose the same uh cities i don't know let's uh let's do uh 
Philadelphia, right? Or you guys tell me, I, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right? Again, you can choose the radius from what? From your truck. So when you post Philadelphia, that means that your truck is delivering in Philadelphia, right? That means that you want to be around Philadelphia area and you want to find 100 miles. We'll do, we'll do Chicago next. Let's say we want to go to Chicago. So we need to bring him to Chicago, Illinois, right? Again, how far from Chicago, Illinois? So at the moment, let's just keep 100 and 100 miles because as many of you know, I do not believe in deadheading, especially, especially on East Coast. So we're going to choose for, let's say tomorrow, right? We're going to choose only for tomorrow. And you can choose equipment. So let's see. C.H. Robinson gives you only drive-in, reefer, flatbed, LTL. What does it mean, LTL? Partial, less than truck load, bulk, if you are dealing with bulk produce, other, I don't know what they were for other, we'll see, and power only and drag. So, Let's choose a win. You have to put 53 or 48. A loading distance, you, you can put it here or you may not put it here, right? So let's see, search. And what is it going to take you? Well, it's going to search your criteria. Look at this. So for tomorrow, exactly from Philadelphia to Chicago, you have right now five loads right you can organize them by origin deadhead see so date on new jersey going to racine wisconsin would be my closest one right let's open it up so you can open you're gonna click on it right and you're going to see what do they want so tomorrow the pickup is from 8 to 3.30, first come, first, first serve. You have a pickup city. It's going to tell you that it's 40,000 on the weight. It's telling you that it has to drop, first come, first serve. Actually, here is appointment set, but somehow appointment is from 8 a.m. to 3.30, so still it's first come, first serve. It's going to deliver to Racine, Wisconsin from 8 till 3. It's going to tell you 845 miles. Commodity, it's a ring, uh, ring gear, and they are paying 1380 Wow, this is kind of low for the full load, right? Well, the screen is blurry all over because um, probably, you know, this, this cannot really. Okay, is it better? I mean, guys, we are on live streaming, so this is nothing Nothing I can really do. So you can book it. So just follow what I'm just telling you. So you have the representative. You have the phone and extension. So at least you already know the details, right? Is that pickup work for you? Is that delivery works for you, right? So if you want to book it, you can book it right away for 1380 or you can call him, right? Well, this is kind of really low so let's see this one okay now this is first come first serve also picking up tomorrow we are picking up from 1 30 to 9 30 p.m it's 42,800 on a weight it has 7 p.m appointment set delivery in wisconsin and it says that they are open 24 hours and in this case, they are paying, how much they paying? $21.70. Do you see the difference? $13.50, $21.70, right? It's a big difference. What is a commodity? Well, they have some description here on some. So this is goes to quad graphics. So usually this is some printed materials. Again, you have the name, Christopher Anderson. You have his phone, his extension. You even have his email. You can book it right away for $21.70. What is wrong here? 
Let's think about it. We picking up tomorrow. Tomorrow is what? Tomorrow is Wednesday. 10th. 10th. 11th. And you're going to deliver on Friday, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. on Friday. Does it make sense? We have 789, 789 miles. No, this doesn't work. If you deliver in tomorrow and you're going to pick up by whatever, 3 p.m., 2 p.m., 1 p.m., why would you want to lose your Friday? Doesn't make sense. Transit is too long right? First of all, it's heavy. So no, doesn't work. Let's see all of them. Now, let's see. So you have another load, same deal. Baltimore also going to Sussex, Wisconsin, delivering 7.30 p.m. So this is the same shipper, same receiver. Look at this. Well, this is the same, but delivering 10 a.m. All pay the same, same shipper, same receiver. You just have to pay attention to details. So now if I open this one, that's probably is better, right? Because you picking up at the same facility, but you are delivering 10 o'clock on Friday, you can still reload. So as a dispatcher, just because we have three loads, same price, same pickup, same delivery, same commodity, same representative. You as a dispatcher, you have to pay attention to what? To transit. So now from these three loads, only this makes sense, right? So in this case, if you book, you already agree to 2170. You don't have to make phone call. You don't have to do anything. What's going to happen? After you click book, you're going to receive rate confirmation on the email of your carrier. But again, if you cannot play casino, is that a good thing? I love to gamble. I love to negotiate. I like to take over the conversation, right? When I was booking today, Chicago going to Johnstown, um, Johnstown Pennsylvania, well, they posted it for... I end up at five and we meet where? My middle, yeah? And my middle is not 45. My middle is 47.50. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Light load candy. Guys, this is six bucks per mile. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. So you need to understand your negotiation power. What is good for your driver? In this case, from these three loads, only this one makes sense. Because you can still reload him on Friday. Okay. So that's what was for this exact research. You can also go from York, PA. Look at this. Pick up at 9 p.m. Right? Let's open the details. 9 p.m. Really? Are you going to be sitting all day tomorrow? Unless, unless again, what I'm teaching Every situation is different unless you are delivering 4 p.m. in you in New York, in York, PA. You know that you need two, three hours to unload and you still want to get loaded at night so then your driver can sleep or start driving. Every situation is different. When people asking me, well, is that good load or is a bad load? I cannot give that answer. I need to know what? HOS hours for your driver. I need to know when are you delivering. I need to know what is your plan. When do you need to be home? Or how much you got paid for the previous three loads. So just when people asking me, is that a good load? I cannot answer it without that data. So my my uh, students already know load can be great, right? But if you book two desperate loads, if you take the average for three loads, then 
it might not make you a good dispatcher, right? So before you book the load, you always, always have to have at least three previous loads in front of you. So when I would add this, I would add, okay, 2170. So if I got 1500, 1200, I would add all the miles, all the gross, divide together with this load. And then I can see, is this good or not? But let's go back to C. Robinson. So that's how it works. You can modify your search, right? So you can have interactive map. Look at this. They are actually giving you the map. So location. Uh, I think uh, somebody wanted Chicago. Okay. Pick up when? Well, pick up. Let's say you're looking for something not for tomorrow. You're looking something for Thursday already, right? You still want to choose Thursday. And what equipment? Reefer this. Okay. Let's do the reefer. 53. You can even choose team loads only, right? So here you go, right? Your interactive map, origin. They're going to show you so you can do all this. Pick up, reefers, team loads with the interactive map. Sing multiple locations. So you can origin here and where you want to go so you're gonna pick up on the 11th so let's choose on 11th right all types you always have to choose one you cannot look for everything you're gonna go to state you can do the state right let's do let's do let's say i don't know arkansas to what to i don't know Arkansas to Pennsylvania. Okay, add, add, search. What is it going to give you? There is no load matching for this criteria, right? So you can always adjust. You can adjust the radius. You can make it 50 or 200 or 300. I like to stick at 50 to 100. So let's do one more time. Let's find some loads again. So, again, Chicago for when? Let's do it for tomorrow, right? Let's see, you want to pre-book your truck today because he, you know that he's going to be unloaded, right? So, 53. And search. Let's see. How many loads do we have? See, for reefer, we have way more loads. So, you can change right here. You want to see all 100. And again, how can we organize them, right? You, If you want to see only loads with rates, you can click right here and you only going to be able to see loads with rate. I want to organize them by what? By the closest loads to me. I always want to choose the loads which are the closest to me. So let's open this one, for example. Or you can go by the rate. The highest pain rate, look at this. The highest pain rate right now going to Illinois, from Illinois to Oregon or Algoro Village to Connecticut, going to East Coast. Let's see. Let's see the details. Okay. We are talking about picking up tomorrow at 8 o'clock. That, me that means that they need already truck empty today. So we're picking up there. It's going to be 30000 on the way. They're going to deliver when? On Friday at 8 a.m. So it's possible. And you go going, you know the shipper, you know the receiver. So you're picking up from Lawrence Food. You're going to Bazutos uh, Inc. And it's 883 miles. We have a commodity, baking items. So let's see. They are paying how much? $4,050. We are talking about $883 plus our deadhead. So let's say 900 miles. 900 miles. So let's see. What is our rate per mile? How do we calculate rate per mile? We're going to take 450 divide by 900 miles. We're talking about $4.50 per mile. Well, 
let's do something really fast, right? Let me move. Let me move my screen. And now I'm going to show you the debt. Okay, so let's see the debt. Let's pause the truck tomorrow. Okay. Because I want to check something. I'm going to post new truck post tomorrow. And I'm going to put Chicago. Okay. Chicago, Illinois. And I'm going to choose the state connected. So let's see what other people paying. And it's a reefer. We're going to change here 45,000 because my students already know that that's a maximum we can do. You're going to put all your comments. If he's early truck, if he's e track, if he's tanker indoors, whatever you want to put. And let's see. Well, here is our loads for tomorrow from Illinois to Connecticut. So let's see the highest pain load. So 41. So you can already see that somebody's paying $100 more, right? So that's how you can see how good is the rate. But what else are we going to do? Well, this was exactly Cheshire going from Algro. So what have been market pain? So we're going to do quick rate search. We're going to choose reefer, right? Those steps, you guys never going to miss. You want to be a dispatcher? So you're going to put what? Al Grove, Al Grove Village. And you're going to choose Cheshire, Connecticut, right? So let's see. Look at this. This has been data for the last 15 days. So when you're going to call that representative, or if you decide to book something, you should be at least at 47, 48. Yes, that's how it works. But at least with the app, you can book it for 4,050 cents because I mean, 450 per mile, this is already good rate, especially if your truck is already empty or you can call them and leave your quote. So at least you know the commodity, you know the weight, you exactly can Google who shipper and receiver. So it's easier than just calling. A lot of times they're not even going to answer the phone, but now you have extension. You exactly know who is the guy who is a broker. So it's going to be easier for you, right? So I like using those all the time. Plus, I know the temperature. So the temperature, look at this. It's 65 degrees. Isn't it better than minus 10 or zeros? Yes. And it's continuous and it's lighter. So you can call this person or you can email him. And believe it or not, they do answer, right? So let's go back to C.H. Robinson. You can post your truck, right? So why would we post our truck? Well, let's see. Let's post truck, right? So I will have actually reefer right i'll have reefer uh not container i'm gonna have reefer uh 53 right so we're gonna put here uh 53 when well i'm gonna have him on thursday he's gonna be available at 5 p.m so i'm gonna switch this to 5 p.m okay when on Thursday, or I can find something for early Friday. So I can actually live two days. Origin, he's going to be in Pennsylvania, and he's going to be in um, John's Town. See, John's Town, John's Town, Columbia. Where do I want to go? Well, I want to go back to Illinois. So I'm going to put, I don't even have to put the city. So see, origin, they want you to have, because they want to see how far your truck from their loads. You can put your phone number here. So in this case, I'm leaving my number. And I can post the truck. So what is going on right now? See? 
your drug has been posted, but it make a moment to show up. So now what's going on? Everybody in Teach Robinson can see on their internal board that me, Alex Transportation or whoever care I was posting to has a truck available. They're going to call me directly, right? I even post them what time my truck will be available. Uh, what else can you do? Before we go to GB Hunt, please actions. Okay, my lo loads. So if you would have any loads, you can see them. That's where would be your tenders. And here you can have account receivables, right? You can see uh, all your loads from previous, right? So that's how it works. Easy, easy. Any questions before we're going to go to GB Hunt? So again, the app for the... C.H. Robinson, the name for it is Nowosphere Carrier, okay? You can sign up for it even if right now. One more thing, when you're signing up for C.H. Robinson that, and you call C.H. Robinson, they're not going to ask you for MC number. You're going to have the T number, right? So I have my T numbers written down for each carrier. That's how C.H. Robinson wants to be different. When they set you up, they're going to assign you T number. So make sure that you ask your carrier what is your T, T number for C.H. Robinson. Lots of times, if you cannot find it or your carrier did not ask, of course you can ask Rap to find you by MC or DOT. But we are professionals. So we know that C.H. Robinson will ask you for T number assigned to your carrier. Are we good on this? So now you know C.H. Robinson is a little bit different, right? They're going to have T number for each carrier. Okay. So what do you need? What do you need to do to get set up? First, C.H. Robinson C.H. Robinson is one of the companies which gonna be working. Oh, I think we uh, I think we don't have a good connection. Okay, so C.H. Robinson is one of the carriers which will be working with you from day one. Okay, so make sure uh, that you know. Look at this one more time. You're gonna go to their website and you want to become a carrier so let's look at this one more time to become a carrier what do you need well you need to provide your mc dot number you need to make sure that the contact information is matches safer guys one more time you are independent dispatcher you need to make sure you're not putting your own information it has to be carrier information from safer so whatever they register company with fmcsa email number the phone number then you will need to sign w9 again what are you going to be providing you're going to be providing carrier's tax id right not your personal social security you will need to complete profile yes yes you will need to read and accept carrier agreement between whom? Between your carrier and C.H. Robinson. You will need to make sure you provide certificate of insurance with C.H. Robinson being a certificate holder. For how much? 100000 for cargo and $1 million primary liability. And you need to make sure that you meet their requirements. And their requirements are easy. You need to make sure that your MC is active and you have insurance plus your rating is satisfactory. So when you go to the next page, see, it's going to ask you, what kind of carrier are you? Are you interstate, inside of the state only, or you are intrastate? Or maybe you are Canadian authority. You still can sign up with C.H. Robinson. After you choose this, 
let's say you are interstate, you go everywhere, they're going to ask you for MC number. Okay? So here you go. You're going to put MC number. Go to the next page. So let's say if I'm going to put uh, 995-912, it's going to tell me that this carrier is already sign up, right? So see, if your carrier already sign up, it's going to show you, you don't have to get set up, but you might contact them for what? To get access to their load boards. Are we guys good on Teach Robinson? Because I just need uh, a little water and we're going to be moving with JB Hunt. back thank you leo for all the good words yes cannot wait to see all of you hos just want to go for a few questions hours of service you need to know your hours of service i really think i'm just gonna do some webinar on hos and new android audits so people know at least beginning of safety you guys know that we do intense safety classes the next one's going to be in end of january here's the questions how do you take vacation as a freight dispatch? Don't you have to constantly find the loads? Well, you can always have a backup, but also you can have agreement with your carriers because usually you plan vacations that they have to kind of help you. Or what do you do? Instead of calling, you go on all these load boards and you still booking the loads. So I was going actually on a Friday, right, guys? We had live and I had one more carrier, which I did not find the load because I was too busy. He could not decide what he wants to do if he's going on Saturday, Sunday. So finally I said, listen, I'm giving you 10 minutes to decide, but it was already 5.30 p.m. on Friday. Even though I went and I posted the truck, it was too late. So what did I do? I went to all the load boards and I booked the load with him. JB Hunt, right? I book it for Monday because that's when he decides. Since I was only going Saturday, Friday, as I mean, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I flew in yesterday. All my carriers were booked, but also it's easier for me. I have a team of dispatcher working with me so they take care of me. But still, I have the trucks, which I'm personally in charge. And I don't like to put my job on anybody's shoulders. I know, yes, I'm the boss. I can do that. But I am actually very responsible human being. So I like to do my job myself. I don't ask people even if they work for me. So I take care. So vacations are challenging. But again, that's why technology is a must. Because you can still book. You can rebook. Even the load cancel. You cannot just depend only on that uh hello talisa thank you for watching yes yeah, somebody says thank you oh thank you beautiful there i try i just did my hair today see i'm busy i still went for color in my hair because i am uh also going on vacation in two weeks going to be in dubai so i'll be dispatching from dubai so that's gonna be exciting right what else create a reliable team and alternate exactly you have to have a team after a certain point you know you have to have a team uh for me i have my assistant to run my classes but also i have a team because we are humans we need to work or what i used to do before we would schedule the vacation time so 
Uh, I work with a lot of Eastern Europeans. So a lot of times they were taking time around certain holidays. So it's like all of us would go on vacation for one week or 10 days. So that was easier. But still, I always have uh, drivers running on the road. So I had dispatchers working for me. But it's all can be managed on how people take vacations on any other job, right? Delegation. You can do it. And if that's a smaller carrier, well, then he needs to understand that it's your uh, vacation time and he needs to know what he's doing as well, right? So maybe you will show him how to book the loads on the app, so how to make phone calls, right? So let's continue. So we're going to GB Hunt, right? So here's your GB Hunt and, and who are they? Well, they've been in business for what? 60 years, right? Here is their um, uh, online access for becoming a carrier. If you have the shipment and you want to hire them, they also have their 360. So if you want to get started, right, you will need to choose who are you. Are you carrier owner operator? Are you carrier's driver? Because why? They have an app for drivers which you should download and when you haul for gb hunt it's going to be easier for you to get information and do the rest you are power only carrier you canada based carrier or mexico based carrier so after you choose or you choose this you will need to answer these questions again i am not going to stress this out over and over but whose name is going to be here if i am a dispatcher working on behalf of the carrier it's going to be owner of the company it's going to be carrier's email it's going to be their phone number so after i put dot i have to create account and that's how i'm gonna create what login to their load board to work with jb hunt you have to be in a business for 90 days. So let's refresh. TQL, one day in business, you okay. CH Robinson, one day in business, you okay. Coyote, 30 days. XPO, 90 days. GB Hunt, 90 days. So if you want to take the notes, that's how it works, right? So after UMC have been active for 90 days, that's when you're going to go and sign up with them, right? So let's say you already survived that 90 days, right? You took my classes. You have TQL. You have Canva. You have C. Robinson. Market is strong. You guys don't have to wait 60 days, 90 days. Market is insane now. Everybody's paying. We're going to see even spike of the market. So if you're not making money now, if you're not making money now, I don't know when you can make money because now it's easy to be a dispatcher. That's why everybody wants to get in. So let's say we have login, right? So now I'm going to show you how the load board uh, works, right? So here you go. Here is your GB Hunt. Again, this is a load board, which is a sign for the carrier. You as a dispatcher can use it. So very interactive. You can do what? You can find the load, suggested loads, right? Maybe if you're going to put the time. You can have my favorites if you want to do everything. You can, again, post your truck. You can have offers, whatever they offer, right? My loads, so see, completed. So that's the load I was talking about, right? So look at this. What can I do? So this is a load we pick up yesterday. We are delivered today at 8 a.m. So we pick up in Romanville, Illinois. We delivered today. We got 1,600. So this is a load number. I can upload documents. So look at this. I actually, I actually prepare selective or drop. Look at this, what I'm going to do now. Here you go. Wow. I just dropped BOL. I left it actually for today so I can show you. So now I all types of have types selected before loading. Okay. So what do we need to put? 
we split a selected file and what document upload okay split so we don't want to split document types this is a bol apply document type to all pages yes and accept upload so now you need to upload so what did i do i had to choose that it's bol right so now it's there what else can i see i can see all the details right look at this tracking of my driver so he arrived on time he arrived on time so good tracking status is pending why status pending because we did not get paid yet right so our factoring is going to build the actually build them today so probably gb hunt is going to pay in few days and that's what it is right receive bill of lading all the specifications so it was 380 miles 32,000 on the way dry goods it was for the dry van and 1600 dollars not bad right so this is my loads right here in transit. You can assign drivers, you can choose drivers, so you can do all of this, right? You can see the pay, all the loads which have been paid. This was 2,500, right? Going from where? Ohio, going to Iowa. So you can see all the previous loads, right? Look at this, it even shows you that it's been 18 days and it's gonna tell you when they pay, right? Uh, waiting on GB Hunt, paid by settlement, paid by load, all of these features. What other perks? What does it offer us? Well, you know, GB Hunt is big on offering you all the things. They are offering you membership. They are offering you pilot jack, good tire, keep trucking, even sires. So all of those perks you can get if you are carrier, right? you can have you have settings so you can put all the settings you want you can manage your users so you can add you can add your dispatchers here so they will have their access but let's go back to what to what we do every day we look for loads i see hey enjoy dubai have fun alex yes i still have to work two classes are going so it's going to be on thanksgiving break so thank you alex is a real deal thank you thank you mia can you check bolenbrook okay dr glock bolenbrook for when okay i'm gonna put bolenbrook bolenbrook what type of equipment again guys when you telling me when you telling me to check something i need to know equipment okay what is equipment while he's answering me let's see that it's a drive-in for when search let's search for when hopefully not for today right because if you still did not book your load for today what does it mean that you're a desperate dispatcher so hopefully not right because you took my classes so let's see for tomorrow you're gonna click search reefer okay so we need to change equipment so let's put the reefer we change for tomorrow, tomorrow, and let's search. So here's your GB Han loads for tomorrow. Okay, we can organize them, right? So let's close this so it's easier for you to see. You see load going Illinois to Mississippi. Again, Mr. Dr. Glock, do you have a plan? A, B, C, or D, or you still did not learn that you need to have a plan where does this guy go does he stay on midwest so in this case we're gonna wait for you to respond to us but let's open a few of them you have the prices here okay picking up tomorrow pick up in chicago illinois from 8 to 10 delivering november 12th on friday 10 o'clock right look at this we even have comments as i told you before you can read about shippers and receivers no parking friendly stuff 
took me early, but unloaded within two hours. Slow, yard, uh, blah, blah, blah. Perfect, good place, nice people. So from nine comments, six were good. So that means it's not bad. Okay, so we are going to deliver 10 a.m. What is our uh, what is our details? You can click more and you can see what they need. Refrigerated. You need to make sure it's a food stop. You can have the weight, right? 25,000. And you have offer history. You can chat with the representative if you want to write something. They say that they're not available. Why? Because right now is 7 p.m. Or you can do what? Or you can book this load. Okay, hold on. Okay. You can book it for 35, which is $4.36, or you can place an offer, right? And you can start playing. They even calculate for you that it's $4.36, right? You can put your offer, right? What are we going to put? You're going to put 4200 right? I understand this shipment requires refrigerated trailers. Yes, five bucks a mile. I understand. Yes, you're going to submit. The moment you're going to submit, it's going to tell you you have successfully placed your offer. All the communication is going to be here. So you are the first offer, right? Your offer is going to expire in 14 hours, right? Oh, you want to go to California, Mr. Dr. Glock? Okay, now we have to adjust. We're going to watch what's going to happen. But now we know that we're going to California. Again, California is big. Northern California, Southern California. Which California? Huh? Which California is paying nowadays? Which part of California is space for produce? Northern or Southern? That's a big deal, right? We have 500 miles difference. Do you need to know this? Okay, LA, thank you so much. Now we finally got to uh, Los Angeles. Okay, let's search. Do they even have loads? No, they do not have loads. Why? Because everybody wants to California. Let's see what they have. You have received a counter offer. So what is our counter offer? Look at this. They still want to pay us 3600 do we want to accept or we can counter, right? So look at this. It's 6, 7 p.m. and you can still. So unfortunately, I don't really have a truck tomorrow because I already booked him to Pennsylvania. I want to withdraw my offer. Withdraw. See, that was easy. But if you guys okay, because that's actually good paying load, 360, you don't have tolls. You go to Mississippi. You look at the time, it's not bad. It's a good receiver, good shipper, 25,000. You don't even have to talk to nobody. You just need to do your job as a dispatcher, right? 7 p.m. and you could have booked the load for tomorrow. So can you go on vacation tomorrow? Yeah, you can slip in, right? That's what I do sometimes. I book my early trucks because I work late. So I like to slip in sometimes. So... You can go to the apps. Okay, what else can we do? We can give updates, right? We can pause the trucks. We can do a lot of things. So let's see what's going on with our market. Because, I mean, it's very easy, guys, to use those apps. I don't know what's going on with connection. I guess I'm freezing. I have to probably restart my routers. But let's see. What is the thread lines? How is the market changing? Let's see. We're going to see. Well, reefer is going stronger, right? 347 in November. Driveways still around three bucks a mile. And flatbed step decks are steady. They're going to start going down because why? Because of the weather. So let's post why everybody wants to go to California. So let's see. Let's see for tomorrow. New truck post for tomorrow from Chicago to 
Los Angeles. I can tell you why. Because California is pain. So let's pause. The highest pain load is only 4,200. And they need a team, two drivers. 4,200 for the team, two bucks per mile. So let's see. What is California pain? Let's see even for today. Los Angeles, right? Let's see, because we have a difference in time. Let's pause. Let's see, we have 568 loads for reefer today. Let's see the highest pain load. Look at this, going to Maryland, 10,000. Going to upstate New York, 10,000. That's why everybody wants to go to California because California is Spain. So which California is Spain? So let's see. If you put Los Angeles, Southern California, the highest was 10 and a half. Well, let's copy. You want to see what's going on in Northern? What are you going to put? Put San, San Francisco, right? Easy, easy. Just pause and see what's going on. What is the highest pain here? 95.85. So answer to me, guys, which California is pain right now? Easy, right? Southern, because you can see by organizing and it was way more loads. Look at this one more time. California is a big state. You need to know which one is pain. So if you look now at Northern California, only 127 loads for today. For Los Angeles, 567. Is that a big difference? Five times more loads in Los Angeles. Let's add it for tomorrow. Safe. So we talking 712 in Los Angeles area. And let's add this one for tomorrow. We are talking about 283 still three times more in los angeles right so any questions before we're gonna be done hi alex you need to make me <laughs> you need to make you an independent dispatcher no honey i don't have to do anything but if you want to become a dispatcher you can become one. I am not a independent dispatch maker. You have to make yourself. I can give you knowledge. I can give you motivation. I can show you how to do it. But it's not me who is going to make you independent dispatcher. Mindset. Mindset is everything. Any other questions? Because we guys going to be done for today. And again, what did we cover? We covered two extra load boards, right? So we cover C.H. Robinson and G.B. Hunt. Let me scroll down and see if I have any questions for right now. If not, then we will be done. Self-made dispatch. <laughs> well, self-made dispatch. Yes, you need to have a vision. You need to have the knowledge. And you have to become one. But I can help you with the knowledge. Because knowledge is important again why because you guys gonna be playing with somebody else's money and you don't want to play you want to make sure that stay in business because if they're going to be out of business are you going to be start looking for your um, new carriers here again i don't know what's going on today here's our website right learn dispatch today.com that's us our registration, dispatch training. Again, November is sold out. The next one we're going to have in December. So this one is already gone. We have December. Uh, guys, I don't know why, but I need to restart my computers, I guess. So December 22nd, this is gone. We're going to start on this Saturday, right? You guys have all our stuff safety classes are here mentorship all the facts and uh, answers are right here what are the requirements right who can become a truck dispatcher how to be a truck dispatcher maybe i'll make the video and i will personally answer each of those questions to give you extra stuff right 
So how do they get paid? Is it hard to be a dispatcher? Is my classes online? All of this is right here. Guys, I really think our website is very easy. I know it's bright. One, one night, I just decided I like this color. So I spent two hours. I changed the interface. We have mentorship. So for people who are ready in classes or after, we do cover all of this. So this is us. And of course, you see us on YouTube. Okay. Uh, do you have any videos to go in details of understanding transit? Yeah, I might I might uh, make the life. I'll see. HOS. HOS is important. We do cover that in class in details because without HOS, you cannot actually book the load. You need to know the shift, the cycle, how many hours left, what, what is a restart, what is a personal conveyance. You need to know the other breaks, pick up. Uh, you need to calculate that. That's why it's so important to take loads close by because you need to make sure that transit is possible. So we do cover that in classes, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to make extra videos. And actually, I want to concentrate on some safety. So one more time, this is a trap lines. You guys can go to market conditions, right? So market conditions on. Uh, oh, you have to log in again. Market conditions on that and see what's going on. So if you're not sure what's going to happen, you, you can put what kind of truck uh, trailer is there, market area, for example, today or seven days before, seven days or prior business day or prior 30 days. 30 days is just too big. One month, it's too much to compare. So probably seven days and you can put any cities, right? So Minneapolis, let's say Minneapolis, apply filter. So now we choose driving for the last seven days, right? So you can see that we have loads and truck ratio, right? So we are somewhere at 65 degrees. This is for driving. What if we're going to put flatbed? Different equipment. Look at this. They do have more loads than trucks, right? What about reefer? Well, you want to see what's going on with reefers we have somewhere so flatbed is the highest right now in minnesota what's going on well we are bringing what snowmobiles what else is gonna come soon after thanksgiving christmas trees right so we're gonna have some nursery christmas tree going on what flatbeds reefers right where do they come from they come from Michigan, they come from uh, North Carolina, they come from Oregon, upstate Minnesota, right? So Christmas trees are coming up. What else is going on? Well, we still have a hard time with unloading all those cargo ships. So we actually going to see shortage of the commodity. So make sure that you guys are learning all this, right? To be a pro dispatcher you need to make sure that you know what's going on. Uh, hi, Alex. Can you talk about flatbed more, please? Probably, yeah, we can do probably flatbed. I can just do the next live or so maybe just talk about flatbed step decks because it's totally different market. You as a dispatcher, you need to know the equipment. You need to know your driver, all the securement tarps, all the wrenches. You need to know the sizes because a lot of times you're going to be combining with the partials. So this is a different type. It's still the same paperwork, the same brokers, but you need to know a little bit more. You need to ask dimensions, right? So if for drive-in, for reefer, we ask commodity. For reefer, we ask temperature, palletized bulk. For flatbed step decks, we are already worried about dimensions. And if they are bigger than the one we can go legally we call it oversized load so can you take oversized load yes if you have all the permits how do you do that oh there's a lot of knowledge going on in being a dispatcher for any types of equipment 
And again, what's the easiest type? I usually, people ask me, drive-in is the easiest one, right? Because all you have to worry, palletize, double stack, single step, commodity, first come, first serve most of the time. So drive-in is the easiest one to deal with. Then we have flap decks, step decks, and then we have reefers, probably on the same level, but reefers are more challenging. You really need to know your commodities. You really need to calculate your transit because it's really strict pickups and deliveries. So if you do not know HOS, you cannot work with reefers. You just cannot. Okay. So what else question is that had calculated in the broker's offers in load words. It's going to show how far is your load. But again, when you're looking at the app, you still need to have the map open and you have to see because that head can be opposite from your destination. So you add in extra than just 67 miles. You always have to have map in front of you. Do broker knows how far are you? Well, when you post your truck, yes, they might see that you post the truck in Chicago. The good broker will always ask you, where are you delivering? What time are you delivering? Are you already empty? What time is your appointment? But again, we're talking about a lot of brokers who do not really do their job as well, right? We have desperate people on both sides. So you as a dispatcher, you know where's your truck. You know hours of service for your truck. Broker do not know that. So on dispatchers, it's more responsibility. So you guys need to know this. Uh, thanks for the knowledge. You're welcome. Thanks. And since we have to wait six weeks before open, can we start before the classes? Six weeks before the class, the moment you register and you make your payment, actually, you need to start preparing for my class. That's why I always tell people sign up at least two, three weeks before the class because you need to get ready for my class. You're going to receive a bunch of information. You're even going to receive already Excel spreadsheet. You need to start learning the markets. You need to know the time zone. So actually, uh, I think I'm just going to make the deadline and I'm not going to take any more people after a certain time. And then people go and they ask me personally, please, can you do it? Can you do it? And then I like, okay, I can do it. But I see people who sign up earlier, they are prepared. First, they're already watching my lives. They already get used to me, right? Because we are all different. Okay. Did you did you have owner operator class already? Are you talking about our how to open company? That's coming up in uh, how to open trucking company. It's coming up. So make sure if that's what you're asking about. It's going to be on November 21st. We already have a bunch of people sign up. Make sure you do not miss. I will be going into details. How to open everything. What you need to do. How much money you need to have in the bank. What to do not to do. And a lot of things. You guys can do it yourself. You don't have to pay me or anybody else. You can do it. Plus, if you want to succeed in this business, you need to know how it works, how trucking works. Why do you need MC? Why do you need USDOT? Why do you need clearinghouse? Why do you need IFTA? Why do you need permits? You don't want to miss anything. What is a, a drug and alcohol program? When is your first uh, audit going to be, right? You need to know this. So guys, $199 for three hours. And I tell you this, it's not going to be three hours. Usually we go for four hours. You're going to receive all the PDFs for Kentucky, for New Mexico, for Oregon, for New York. You're going to receive everything what you need to do, like in kindergarten. Go here, click this, do this. Go here, click this, do this. Do not do this, right? So, I mean, I, I think people who ever took my classes, they, they just go for all the classes because they understand that, yes, I am lucky to have knowledge and I learn a lot over the years. And why did I learn? Because guys, I own, own co trucking company. I started as a dispatcher without knowledge. I am insurance agent. I am a RTS agent for factoring. 
So I still dispatch. So when I teach you, I don't just teach you how to post the truck. I am covering all the angles. I mean, yes, and I give you the real examples, right? And sometimes those are not a funny examples because, guys, I lost some money. I wish somebody would teach me a long time ago, but unfortunately, I couldn't find nobody. Yeah, I paid $1,000 for some online uh, class, which was not even online. They just sent me the book, and it actually was not for dispatchers. It was for freight brokerage. So all I got, a bunch of alpha codes, but at least I learned the terminology. Who is a shipper? Who is a receiver? What does it mean PU? What does it mean PO, BOL? So I still got my knowledge. Did I complain? Not really. I paid $1,000 because it was nothing available. And I remember it was like seven, eight years ago. Nowadays, you see everybody's teaching. Just make sure that they really teaching you. Okay. Where can I learn about freight in each state? Well, you can learn from Google, right? So... You ask Google, well, what grows in Arizona, right? Our students have assignments. They have to make sure they know shippers, receivers, commodities. But any of you can do it. So you're going to put what grows in Arkansas. What is the produce there, right? What is the manufacturing? What is the industry? What is the population? You guys can learn all this on your own. It might take you longer. You also need to know. What are you going to do with that knowledge, right? How is it going to play a role in your negotiation or choosing equipment or building your company, okay? Because sometimes we have people who know a lot of things, but then you also need a common sense to put the knowledge to work for you and get a good paying loads, right? So you need to learn how to go through information, filter, see what is important, and learn in each state what what you need to know, right? Well, thank you, Juan. Thanks again. Do we need to set up an LLC for independent dispatch business, or is it okay to operate as a? Well, again, I don't know why everybody wants to have LLC. You can only have you can have a S corporation, C corporation. I mean, I am not an accountant. I cannot give you advice. But LLC, you're gonna pay extra taxes in the end of the year. I think people just hear LLC because everybody's mentioning. No, we have different business organizations. So we have corporation C and S. Then we have LLC. Then we have partnership, right? So then we have a sort of proprietor. If you're starting, I would recommend to have as corporation. And again, it depends in each state you at, right? Every state also has a different charges. To even renew LLC, it's way more money a year than just corporation. So why do you want to spend more money? You not, and you can always switch. You can start with S Corporation, C Corporation, and then change to LLC. So LLC, it's already for people who have assets, for people who go on a bigger scale. So, I mean, that's that's what it is. Again, talk to your accountant. I am not here to give the legal advice. I know a lot of things I I tell in my class, but not as a legal the, the advice because I am not a licensed or CPA. I am not an accountant, but... Since I've been in business for a long time, I know a lot of things about calculating profits, how to run it, tax and uh, taxes, and everything else. Okay, thank you in advance. Yeah, I'll see you all from Canada. I'll see you soon. We have few more Canadian students for this class, so I'm very pleased to meet all of you. And what is this? Hey, Alice, thank you for your work. How should look like the best schedule for dispatch working from pacific time zone should it start from 5 a.m to 8 a.m what is your suggestion thank you again yes we and we people in california right because they have a nice weather but if you are dispatcher and you do live in pacific time zone unfortunately you're not going to be that lucky because you do need to start at 5 a.m and 6 a.m why because of time zones. People already on East Coast, especially if you're at Rocks or East Coast or Midwest, you cannot wait till 8 a.m. Pacific time. You're going to miss all the markets. So this is perks of this industry, right? So maybe 
for people who in California, if their drugs are not in that region, you need to understand that you will need to start 5 a.m. Let's talk about people who dispatch outside of the country. Their schedule is crazy because of the time difference, right? Usually, they start afternoon and they go all night. So again, you want to be a dispatcher? You need to understand this, right? Time difference. It depends where are you. Are you in Eastern Europe? Are you all the way in uh, Asia? The, you know, so you need to know this, right? Again, this is a simple thing. Do you want to be dispatcher? You need to know industry. People ask me, can I be a dispatcher if I'm just going to work part-time after my main job and I can just book the loads from 4 p.m. till 6 p.m.? Well, maybe a few loads on the apps, but what kind of driver? If I am a driver, <laughs> I am not going to have dispatcher who has time only afternoon, right? Guys, let's be realistic. No, you cannot. But can you work for trucking company and be in their tracking department? Like, for example, all those big companies, C.H. Robinson, TQL, and everything, they have departments which work afternoon for what? To get updates. Sometimes load get canceled. So, yeah, you can do that. But can you be an independent dispatcher and work afternoon? No. Can you be independent dispatcher and only work on Saturday, Sundays? No. If somebody's telling you that you can, they are lying to you. No. You have to be available in the morning. That's when we do most of our job. Seven to noon. How, to, how much time do you have to spend? Well, if you are uh, covering five, six trucks, if you know what you're doing and you're pre-planning, you're going to be done by noon. Yeah, you're going to start at 7, you're going to be done by noon. Some days, might some unusual things happen, but not really, okay? Yeah, I see my friend Aliyah. Hi, Aliyah. How are you? Met her in New York. Very sweet girl. Got me the cutest present. She got me a little cups for my flowers, and it says, the best teacher ever. Thank you. It was nice to meet you in person. Uh, LLC is a business entity filled with state as corporation uh, ATC and IRS classification are going to choose. We have a different business uh, structures. So LLC, corporation can be COS, and you're going to choose that when you're going to get the tax ID, right? We also have partnership. We have limited partnership. So those are business structures. When you decide to choose, you should talk to your accountant and see your situation. What are you planning to generate? I don't even know. Sometimes even your marital status, right? So this, are you going to protect your assets? Do you have some real estate? It's all different. That's why I'm not giving the legal advice. You should talk to accountant who helps you with taxes. But do you need to pay somebody to open this? No. Nowadays, you go on stay on each state website and you can open it. So do not pay me. Do not pay anybody else unless, unless you don't have time, unless you don't really want to learn this, then yes, come and pay me. I do open the companies all the time because sometimes people, they just don't have time. It's easier for them to uh, hire me as a service. Okay. So when does the dispatcher course start? Actually, we start in this Saturday, but it's sold out. And next one is in January, January, January 22nd. How long is the course? We have five days. They are not consecutive days. So it's once a week, four hours, five hours. And you have homework in between. You have to get ready for my class. So four classes and the fifth is our real uh, phone calls, right? That's when I am dividing you by groups. It's going to be your time, two or three people. You guys are going to make phone calls. I'm going to hear your negotiation. We're going to talk as a group. What's going on? Did Eddie forgot to ask if it's palletized? Did he jump and ask how much? 
before seeing if the transit is possible. So those are the best time to finally to finish your circle, right? Well, thank you again. I'll see you all of you soon. Keep watching. Thank you for all your likes. And we are getting stronger. As I said, I think we were only four people short to make 5,000 followers. We started only in April. I am so blessed to be a part of this mission. And no one, no one is going to turn us down. Because, guys, it's me and all of you who are learning and who really want to succeed. So don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do it. But set up your mind. Anybody can do anything. Look at me. I came from Ukraine 23 years ago with 200 bucks in my pocket. I've been a single mom for a long time. This is not my first business. I made money. I lost money. I never give up. If I can do it, you can do it. And I will help you to make less mistakes. That's the only thing. I wish, I wish that when you make some business decision that you have that person who say, you know what? No, why don't you, why don't you go different road? Because guys, I was up and down, but did I give up? No, I'm not giving up and I am keep going. And this is not the only thing that I am willing to do, right? I am even going to write a book, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to become a writer about my, my uh, road to success as Ukrainian girl in a different country and the person who heard so many times, oh, you know what? You cannot do it. You cannot do it. No, you can do it and I can help you. Love you again. Hopefully, hopefully I inspired some of you. If you're still debating, go back and read facts about the classes, right? So go back and decide if this passion is something you want to do right? Because I am not going to tell you anybody can do it. No, it takes certain personality. You have to be multitasking. You have to love talking to the people. You have analytical thinking, and I will give you foundation. But you have to decide. Uh, wash hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, thank you so much. Love you guys. See you soon. Tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow we might be covering Trinity, Trinity, and maybe Load Smart. So 6 p.m. 6 p.m. works for me. So if you guys wanna watch tomorrow, I'll be doing live 6 p.m. again because I wanna be done with Load Boards by Friday. Some of the most famous uh, apps. Love you and see you soon.